Good afternoon, everybody. I am Kristen. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, um, I've been using YFP th since 2009, and that's actually how I uh, was brought into Shackley, and that's how I've built my entire Shackley business. So today we are going to get into Marketing Monday. We're just going to do a brief of what we're, what's happening this week. Let me just pull up my note here for a second. Um, you're also welcome to come in and share a little bit about uh, how did it go with getting your, you know, your action steps, those, those little steps that you can do using the activity, um, activity guide, which I was correct. There is an updated version, but all of the activities are the same. We're just simplifying a few things here and there, but all the activities are the same. So I'd love to hear if you were able to set up a little activity plan for yourself for the next 10 months and 10 months, 12 months. And it may change. You may have to adjust a few things here and there, but you know, it's always a good place to start to get two or three actions that you can do, um, which is what we want to do, right? We want to be talking to people. Um, so let's jump in. We've got about 30 minutes. So I just want to go over what's happening this week. And I will share my screen. And just a quick reminder of, you know, if, if you get lost or confused, because I know I, it happens to me too, on what YFP is. YFP is a suite of tools that you can use to help educate your people. Our goal and the focus that we really want to that I know why, uh, Jody and the team we're really trying to narrow down to is that we want to create an environment for enrollment. Not so much that we're pushing people, but we want to educate people to the point where they want to be with us because we give them that value. And, and that's, that's the purpose of what we do. So let me just pull up my other tabs here because I have everything set out. I had everything just set out perfectly so we shouldn't have to wait for any load times of screens, which is Fantastic. Um, so a couple of things that are happening this week. This week, we're starting the Leaner for Life. Uh, we're starting it Tuesday, and it'll run for the next five Tuesdays um, at 8 p.m. And they're going to be 30 minutes. We're, we're doing our best to keep our presentations to 30 minutes, so it's not something that you're going to be stuck to or that your people will be stuck to for too long. But we want to really give power packed great information that are action steps that they can use right now to help build themselves to help build a healthier lifestyle. So that's number one that's happening. So we each have individual links. We weren't actually going to do this at the beginning, but uh, we decided that it's better if we can have individual links, then we can see who's registered um, and be able to follow up with them it makes it a lot easier. So I'll show you how to get to that. Um, so to get to that, it's under our marketing tab, and you would come down to Event Manager. Once you click on that, you're going to come to this page right here. And this here is your registration link. So it'll say Leaner for Life up at the top. So your, your newest event or your upcoming event is always going to be the first thing you see. Um, and there's your registration page. So when you click on it, it'll pop up. Whoops, that's not it. <laughs> It'll pop up with the Leaner for Life registration page, and it has all the information in there. Nicole has her first person in the Learn and Earn. Oh, fantastic, Nicole. Woohoo! Congratulations. Very excited to hear the results of that, and I'm, I'm going to check in with you in a couple weeks to see how it goes um, and to see the results that came from that, because that's exciting. Extremely exciting. Um, sorry? He finished it already. Holy smokes. That's excellent. <laughs> and what did he think? I, let's, let's take a pause here for a second because, um, as many of you know, the Learn and Earn is in beta. And, um, and that means it's not quite in, the full, in its full glory. So this is like the tester phase. So it's always good to hear this feedback. So, Nicole, share a little bit about what his feedback was. What did he think and, and how did it? How did it go? Well, he's, he's out of town for right now, so I tried to get back in touch with him to find out what the product he was or products that he would like to have. But this person has been with Shackley on and off for, I'd say, I don't know, 15 years. Mm -hmm. And he just showed up again and was interested in the Shackley products, the Shackley opportunity again. And so I, I offered it learn and earn. I said, you know, there's been a lot of things that have been going on since you've been in and out. and This would be a great way for you to 
reconnect yourself with the products and everything that Shackley has. So he says, sure. So I was watching all the emails come in and the, um, you know, his, his reviews and um, comments and everything. And he finished it in three days. So that was pretty good. <laughs> That's a record right there. <laughs> I, I think so. <laughs> but he said that he had a lot of time in the evening that his wife was out doing something. And he says, oh, yeah. He says, I'll, I'll watch it. And I said, okay. So, I mean, I, you know, we all get that same uh, feedback sometimes. I'll watch it and get it done and everything, and then nothing happens. But, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, this one actually followed through and went through and did the whole thing. So I'll – I'll keep you posted as to what his comments were after I speak to him. Yes, that's great. That's so exciting. And thank you so much for sharing, Nicole. Fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. That's great. Okay, so I'm going to go back into sharing my screen. And it's really exciting because the Learn and Earn, I know Bob's had some tremendous success with it. Nadia Touch has had um, quite a few people go through and finish out already too. So it's good to to see it being used and um, and in a way that's digital is fantastic. We don't have to worry about losing tapes like I know many of you struggled probably with, with the old 21 tape program. So that's fantastic. Um, so back to this week. Um, the Leaner for Life is on Tuesday, so here's your registration link. You will be able to see everybody who is registered. And one quick note, just while I'm here, in your, oops, here we go, in your events manager where your registration page is, if you want to see who has attended or who, not necessarily attended, but who registered for your past events, if you click on past events, and you can follow along with me if you like, um, if you want to come back and do it on your own, that's fine too. Um, then you'll come to a page here, which will show all of the past events we've had since we've been in this system and recording them this way, where we've had our own individual links. And it's um, the newest is at the bottom. And if you click on where it says how many registrants you have, you'll be able to see exactly who registered. So I'm using one from a while ago because it has a few. And this is where I forgot to get the Menex page going, but that's okay. Um, but it will show you who has registered. It'll give you their email. So then you can follow up with those people and just ask them what they thought. Or actually, a good thing to ask them is, um, were you able to get on live with the webinar last week? And because we can't tell if they were actually on live. We don't have a way to track that at the moment. But, um, but you can start that conversation with them. And if they did, great. Ask them what they liked best. And if they didn't, then you can... Uh, let them know that the recording is going to be coming to them soon in their email. Um, so that I wanted to share with you guys as well. So let me just close out a few of these tabs and we'll move on to what happened last week. Um, last week, if you want to see what's new and everything that's been archived, if you scroll down on your dashboard, here's the what's new section. And in the what's new, we have um, a couple help center articles, which are for you as distributors, um, how to import your contacts. So if you click on that, it'll be give you a step by step of how to import your contacts list right into your contact manager. Um, and it'll give you a step by step walkthrough of how to format and all the other good stuff that that happens along with that. So there's a great help article there if you have a list of contacts that you'd like to import, whether it's from your Shackley back office. Um, we do have one that's specific, whoops, for the Shackley back office. Whoop. Keep having to move things out of the way here. Um, how to import, open that one in a new tab. Whoops, I need to open it in a new window. Uh, so here's how to export your Shackley contacts. And then the other one is how to import them from the export. Okay, and that'll be in the what's new. So you don't have to go into the help center and search for it. It'll be right in the what's new section so you don't have to search too hard. Um, the other one is our newest wellness article is out. And when you click on it, it's going to actually bring you to a page that gives you, is this one mine? No, nope. this one's mine. Um, bring you to a page where you can read the article and go through the article when you click on that tab. Now, if it brings you into the preview tab, which is one thing I was having a trouble with at the beginning, that's okay. Um, if you want to read the whole article, it's under Wellness Center, and you would go home, 
And once you're at the home page, which is this here, it'll be the first article that's up and you can read it directly from there. Um, but the article's fantastic and the email will is in the queue. So if you don't have the auto schedule up yet for the email um, and you're still doing your own, it's ready for you to send out. And if you have it on auto schedule, it should have sent out this morning. Uh, or it'll send out tomorrow, depending on what batch it's on. So, yeah, uh, that's that part. Let me go back to my dashboard. What else is new? And then also the recording of the webinar last night, or not last night, last week, with Dr. Daggy and Dr. Park is now in the Wellness Center as well. So you can start letting the people know who are in your Wellness Center that they can catch the recording um, in there if they missed it. And, of course, that email will be ready to go out too letting the people know who registered that that recording is available for them. Um, what else is in the what's new section? That's new, new. And then we have what's new for until um, from November. So if there's Marketing Mondays that you wanted to catch previous, if you want to rewatch the YFP roadmap for 2020 that we had in December, just to refresh on what our plan is moving forward, you're going to find all of that here. So the newest thing will be at the top. And, um, and then you can even go back as far as November to just to recap if there's certain things that you need to refresh on or um, that you just want to watch again to help instill what's happening. And of course, the eating right for a bad gut is still in there, which that was probably one of my favorite webinars. <laughs> that one was a lot of fun to do with, uh, with Dr. Scala, and we have another one coming up for him next month. So you can look out for that. We're talking about the blood pressure relief diet, his book, Blood Pressure Relief Diet, if anyone would like to know. Okay, and then the last thing on my list, let me just uh, stop my share again so I can get to my notebook. So we went through the wellness content, the business content, um, road upcoming events. Okay, so the other thing that we want to go through is we're going to go through our results, our marketing results from our emails for the past week. Um, just making sure. When we edit and schedule ourselves, is it given is it time given in our own time zone? Oh, that's a good question, Diane. Uh, when, when you schedule your email, it's not in your time zone. I believe it is Eastern time. So, um, at least it is for me. And I think there's a way you can change it. I have to go in and double check, but I know I've tried before and I had a hard time doing it. But for the time being, it's in Eastern time. So if you're scheduling it for 6 a.m. Eastern time and you're in the Pacific, it's going to be three hours um, earlier than that. Um, okay, so let's go into our marketing results from last week week. So if you go into your marketing tab, and you can all follow along with me because you want to see who's opening your emails. Um, it's very critical. It's a nice way to see, you know, what's happening, who's interested, and gives you an opportunity to see who you want to follow up with. It's going to be under email campaigns. Once you're in email campaigns, now I have a couple in here because I was sending out some tests. Um, but the last one is going to be the broadcast email that was sent on January 6th. So if you've sent out a couple emails in between, it'll be a little bit different. And all you want to do is click on where it says what the name of the campaign is. So where it's blue, when you click on it, it'll come to a page, whoops, just like this. And this is where you can see. So out of 62 emails that were sent, I had 13 open. And a 20% open rate in our industry is really good. Um, you're doing you're doing pretty skookum. Um, so if you got 20% that's opening, or even like close, 15 to 20%, that's fantastic. And to see the detailed statistics, you would click on detailed stats. So there's an activity graph which shows you, you know, graph-wise what's happening, but you can see detailed stats, and you can actually see this is my opens. Everybody who has opened this email who's on your list. So this is a good opportunity. Um, if, you, if you notice over, you know, a few weeks, and I see there's a chat here. My chat doesn't want to open when I'm in screen share all of a sudden, so bear with me if I don't get your message right away. <laughs> I don't know where it's going. 
<laughs> and if you have a question, you can unmute as well. Um, so if you have something that's really pressing, then please unmute and just chat with us. But this is a good opportunity to maybe follow up with a few people who have been opening consistently week in and week out and just ask them. Um, I mean, you don't want to seem like you're a stalker and saying, hey, I see you're opening your emails. Um, but you could, you could ask them, you know, touch base with them and be like, hey, have you been getting my emails, even though you know, but ask them if they've, if they've been getting them. And if they say yes, ask them what they're liking best about it. Um, and just start a conversation through there and, and let that conversation guide. Um, and this could also be a good way if they're opening a lot, if you're, if you can do the learn and earn and it's in your budget, you could offer it to those people who are very engaged with the emails. That's a good opportunity to invite them to the learn and earn as well. Um, if it's somebody that, you know, you use your discernment because even though someone's opening, you may know them a little bit differently um, and that's okay. Um, the other one that you want to pay attention to is if there's any bounces and who the names are. And if you have a phone number for them, so a bounce means that, especially a hard bounce, means that their email is no longer valid. So whether it was misspelled um, or maybe they deleted that email and it's no longer valid, it's a good opportunity to follow up, especially if they're in your Shackley group, to get the proper contact information from them. Um, the other one too is important is any of, if you have any unsubscribes, and if it's somebody that you know really well, you can just check in with them and see how, you know, see how they're liking it. Um, and then, of course, it, the forwards, that means if anyone has forwarded that email to somebody and clicks. So that's just people who've actually clicked on a link in that email that took them... Um, that took them into whether it be the wellness project or maybe to a specific product, then you can, uh, this thing keeps popping up here. <laughs> there we go. Um, but then you can see who's actually clicking on it too. And it's another good opportunity for follow-up. So you do want to see what's happening here and give a little, I would say give a little extra love to the people who are really engaging with the emails. And for some reason I need this there. If you hover over top of the emails, it's going to pop up their extra info. Um, and it doesn't just disappear. <laughs> so, there you go. Um, okay. I think that about covers what's happening this week. So if someone opens and forwards an email, does it count on the forward open? I believe so. Yes. Um, and I don't know anything about SBOS, so Shirley, thank you for answering that question. And I'm just seeing if there's any other questions in there as well. If anyone has any question that they want to ask verbally, please, you're welcome to unmute and jump in and ask. Or if there's anything that you'd like to cover quickly, we have another 10 or so minutes. minutes. And I hear somebody's unmuted. Hi. Susan? Hi, Hi, Susan. How are you doing? Good. How are you? Good, good. I was wondering about that meeting that you're going to be doing on the Tuesday nights at 8 o'clock. Now, what is, who's going to be doing that, and what's that all really all about? Or who's... who's so, the, um, the Leaner for Life is, it's focused around the, the, the PIC, the Prove It Challenge. And last year, we did it focused around the 180, like the full 180 turnaround kit. Mm -hmm. uh, or the, yeah, the turnaround kit. And it was... Um, we did 12 weeks last year and it just covered a lot of aspects of, you know, how to really utilize the 180 to help with your weight loss journey, that type of thing. This year we're chunking it down a little bit more and focusing more on the really the how to's like things you can do. We're going to have a smoothie workshop in there. Um, tomorrow night, Debbie Miller and I are going to talk about the cleanse. Well, Debbie's going to do that. I'm more introducing her because she's really, really versed in the cleanse and nutrition. Um, what else are we doing? And then Nadia is actually going to do a mini workout and talk about the benefits of strength training, whether you do cardio or strength and the benefits of both and um, fun stuff like that. So it's it's like a, a companion tool to the pick to help people stay on track, especially new people stay on track with the pick if their journey is... Um, well, doesn't really matter whether it's uh, to lose or even just to um, maintain what they're doing. So it's kind of for both um, people that are doing the pick and trying to build a business using the pick also? Or yeah, yeah. Anybody who's using the pick or doing the pick, it's all in there. Okay. 
Oh, okay. Thank you. You're very welcome. I have a question. Hello, other Susan. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> um, so how do people know about that Leaner for Life? Have they got an email already sent out to them or should we do that? Not yet. Um, so that's something that you can definitely do. So if you have people who are starting on the Prove It Challenge in your group, mm -hmm. just say, you know, this is something free that you can join that's going to help you and be that. Basically, it's like you're the support, a little extra support and guidance through the pick. Okay. Sounds yeah. great. Yeah. Thanks. Oh, that's awesome. And Donna, for the fan page, um, the Jumpstart fan page, I'll send you a link to... That'll explain that in better detail because I know it's a lot more and I'd have to go back and look for the information, um, which will take a little bit longer. So, Donna, I will pass that on to you wherever you might be here. <laughs> I know you're here somewhere. <laughs> I just can't see you. Um, okay. So, no, that should, that should be good. So then, um, oh, that was the other thing I wanted to show too, is if you have any... Uh, recommended reading because of course we know personal development business development is critical and there are a couple of fantastic books that um, that Jody recommends and also that I recommend I know there's a couple that I still have to read but if you're looking for some reading and you want to and you're not quite sure where to start from your dashboard if you scroll to the bottom of the page you'll see that there's these, you know, find new builders, find new customers, increase sales and retention. Under the increase sales and retention, there's the business center, which is YFP 101. So this is the training center for you guys, an added training center, where you can come in and look at all of our past webinars um, that we've done that are business focused, but also underneath the sections, there's this free resources. So if you click on free resources, you're gonna come to a page like this and the second one down is the recommended reading when you go into recommended reading it gives you a list of um, books that you can that can help you uh, whether it's personal development or network marketing in general prospecting and networking um, the game of networking is actually one that I've just started reading I haven't gotten very far into it but it is um, it's just a good one to get your mindset right with network marketing. I know sometimes this industry can uh, can bring out every kind of insecurity <laughs> that you ever thought you could ever have. Uh, and these these just help you get into that mindset, to a better mindset and a better mind frame around it. And of course, Get Over Your Damn Self is another fantastic one uh, when it comes to network marketing and your mindset. And, you know, your mindset is... I, Personally, I believe like 80% of the game. <laughs> it's 80% it's of the challenge. If you can get your thinking um, in, that, in that really positive mind frame and just adjust the paradigm, you know, as Bob Proctor says, change that paradigm shift, this is a good place to start. So these two books I would highly recommend. You can get them straight here, which would be an e- well, it gives you the option for like an e-Kindle book or you can get a hard copy. Sometimes I know I'm, I'm very much a hard copy kind of gal. I like to have the physical book and turn the physical pages and smell the book, you know, how it goes when you like books. And then when it comes to, um, if there's anything nutrition-wise, we have all of Dr. Scala's books in here. We have Dr. Cheney's books, Build a Better You book by Dr. Bros. These are all great ones. I like the Build a Better You because it's not one you have to read for page to page. It's just a nice reference book. And I now have three editions of it that I've come across. <laughs> And they go from about this big to this big. <laughs> so it's amazing how much has changed. Um, and then leadership, you know, the slight edge is a fantastic one. Um, and same with how to win friends and influence people because we are a relationship business. We have to be able to build those relationships with people. Um, and knowing how to do that when from a perspective of really caring about the other person and wanting to know more about them and letting them guide you where they need to go because they always know what they need, right? Um, so there's some of the recommended reading. And, and as we go through with Marketing Mondays and as I read more of these books too, mm -hmm. um, I'm going to be sharing some some insights from it, some little tidbits here and there from the books that I've been reading in that list as well. And I hear somebody is unmuted. Susan. Hi, I'm looking for it and I can't find it under the business center. Okay. Is that the right place? 
Ah, do, 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 do. So if we go business center and you go home. Okay. That should take you and you should see a page like this. So then you should come to a page like this that says business center at the top. Mm -hmm. Okay. It'll be under sections. Mm -hmm. Free resources. Hmm. And then you'll come to this page here and it'll be under the recommended, mm -hmm. the recommended reading. Okay, thanks. You're very welcome. So this week, just so you guys all know, I'm covering the game of networking. And then um, if anyone else has read this book or is reading this book, I'd like to, um, to exchange thoughts and just see what you get out of it as well next week. And I can stop my share now. There we go. <laughs> there we go. And oh, just quickly, because it looks like Lee, you missed where the leaner for life is. I can quickly show you that. Some of it's going to be closed, so now we might have to give it a second. But from your dashboard, it'll be under marketing. It's under marketing, event manager. When you click on event manager, it'll load up to this page right here. And this will be your registration page link. Okay, great. So with that, um, I, hope that was, I hope that was helpful. And two, mm -hmm. for those of you who are or aren't, we are starting back up with the Network Cruise University on the 16th. No, no, sorry, not the 16th, the 23rd. Because um, the mm -hmm. 16th, this week, we have the Back to Business kickoff series that we're doing as an in-house webinar for everybody um, just to help us get back on track. So that's going to be at 8 p.m. Eastern on this Thursday, the 16th, for the Back to Business kickoff series. You'll probably get an email for it, but it will also be on your dashboard. I'll just quickly share that one more time. If you're on your dashboard, close a whole bunch of this stuff down, it'll be in the banner, on the banner of your dashboard. So you'll be able to click on that once it loads. And it'll also be on the, the cover page or the cover photo of the Facebook group as well. And if you click on that photo, you'll be able to, to register for that, which will also be live streamed into the YFP group. So, um, and archive there as well. But Kristen? Yes. Um, for the Leaner for Life, would mm -hmm. you recommend that we share on our personal Facebook page, but not put a link on it? Just maybe do a screenshot of the. Just say this is what we're image. doing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then message me for that. details, or how would you do that? You could do that. Um, one thing that I've done with events like this is I'll put the information in my post, but then I'll put the link in the comments. Uh huh. So that's I just another don't, way. Don't want to get in trouble with Facebook. So no, <laughs> no, nobody wants to get in trouble with Facebook. We had enough of that last year. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so, you, um, but yeah, you can put the link if you're going to post it. If you want to post it on your personal profile, um, just say, "Hey, this is what we're doing. I'm very excited about it. If you'd like more information, you can message me, or I put the link below in the comments." But would you put the picture where it says your wellness project, free online wellness program, leader for life with the pe the man and the woman? Or you not? could. Yeah. Yeah. Imagery is good. The one thing about Facebook is um, for personal profiles, for some weird reason, the text, like just simple text, gets the best engagement for a personal profile. So even if it is just text with no picture, that's mm -hmm. okay too. And you're just, you can even just say, I'm very excited that we're doing this program for five weeks. Mm -hmm. um, if you'd like some information, DM me or PM me. Okay. Yeah. Um, and just while I'm on my dashboard, you'll see right here, the back to business kickoff, you can register right from your back office mm -hmm. on your dashboard. Okay. With that, uh, if you have any other questions, you can post them in the Facebook group. I'd love to, I don't really have any homework for you guys this week. Um, other than uh, if you haven't put together what your action steps are going to be for the next 12 month and your 12 month plan, um, do so. You know, what are the action steps that you're going to take to help propel your business forward over the next year? And, um, and then we'll see you all next Monday.